I've that got the card. card draw. It is a very spicy card draw. It looks like J Boy protected Max Period Challenge. Ooh, he overrided that. Oh, he overrided that. I will, that. I will yes. explain that in a bit, but we'll get over the song uh, next. And then the next song will be Delta Max ESP, which is no bar uh, protect. If we go to the tiebreaker, we will go to Elemental Creation ESP, May ESP, Ooh. and then NGO CSP. Oh my gosh. So we're starting off with an 18. Yes. So this was an override. I touched briefly on this earlier, but every player in the tournament is allowed one override for the entire top 16, where you can replace a song you are protecting with another chart of the same numerical difficulty. Uh, and uh, as it is with Johnson & Johnson, you only get one shot. Yep. I believe Nova Ben used his uh, override earlier. Um, Other was, stream, I have no idea. Yeah, I believe his <laughs> was Fascination Eternal Love Mix ESP, the 16. That sounds right. So it looks like Nova Ben does not have any more overrides. Yep. So Ben's used his. And now J-Boy has used his. Yep, and you definitely see them come out a lot more in the loser's bracket. Yeah. You have one loss and you out, so you need your best. And there aren't really any easy matches in this tournament left. Uh, there is, yeah. There is no one in this bracket that anyone is excited to play against and go, oh, I have a good chance yeah. here. I mean, uh, even looking at top 12, like any one of them could, it could win the tournament, the entire tournament. So we will see. J Boy uh, definitely has a better score than this. Yeah. Than the one that he sees on his card. Uh, but 977 on this, pretty spicy. Um, Max Period is just a brutal song. Yeah. The uh, lots of area, um, lots of sections of step jumps, kind of weird high motion streams. The brutal slowdown in the middle where the arrows literally go to nothing in yes. the music. You're just playing one of the old paranoia charts. Yeah. Um, ending with. And then the ending, which is just the I'm equivalent. Just really aggressive. Yeah. 225 equivalent DPM run. Yeah. Both of these players were Uppy competitors, and this was a qualifier for Uppy. Yep. Ben stuck in a uh, quick adjustment to his second plus. That is the silver kind of block you see on the right side kind of simulating a higher speed mod, as I was talking earlier with Roger. No, we're back. Just people have missed, but he actually has a pretty sizable lead currently. Like, almost 30 EX. This chart is really notoriously hard to time. Yep. The, the sync is very late. Very late. Uh, also a little inconsistent between the different sections of the chart. Yeah. Um, and then the fact that you have to read at a very low BPM because yep. of the double time 800 BPM scroll speed. Um, Norman still opting to keep his Thunder Plus on. It's going to be pretty difficult to take it off at this point. And there, oh. it is. there it is. Clever. Very complicated, twisty section of the chart. Most people usually choose to execute it as a controller, like both of those right there. And we're going into the final run. Nova Ben with a really sizable lead, 90 DX at this point. As long as you keep it together and not get too many misses, this might be his take. But, Ooh, I say that, and he a does take it. Oh, and that that is just so fast. Yeah, it is very brutal. Like I said, it's about 225 DK in Holy moly. So, one, 619, shout out to my San Diego friends. For no bar Ben. 15.48 for J-Boy. That might have been... No, never mind. I was gonna say, that might have been an up score, but then I realized he had like a 960 something. Yeah. So, um, very strong showing. Even, the, even though he got a bunch of misses at the end, trying to keep up at that speed, it, like, Nova Ben just had a huge lead going into it that he was able to maintain it at the end. So now, Delta Max Expert. J-Boy has an 87 PPFC as his highest machine score. Yeah. As we all know, machine score is a lie. As high as DX is likely much better than that in yeah. Yeah. Uh But on the other side, we have Ben with 27. 27. Yeah. Okay. This chart first came out in DRX2, I believe. It's been around a while. 
players like Ben, playing no bar, you tend to see people read a little bit slower when they play yeah. no bar. That gives him an advantage on this song. He has it more does. practice reading slow. He's more comfortable with the beginning of this song. Still not super comfortable, but much more in his wheelhouse, less disruptive for a lower read speed player than a faster read speed player. I see many people try a bunch of different strategies on this 1.25. You can do like 0.75 boost. That's what I do. I don't know if it helps, but I feel better. No more Ben still holding on to the PFC. Uh, I saw Jayway pick up a couple of great and a couple misses right there. Yeah, Ben already up by almost 30. Yeah, very significant already. Ben very comfortable with this chart. It's always such a treat watching Ben play, especially higher level stuff. Yeah. Playing no bar means you have to have extremely good body control and balance control. And as such, he has very little wasted motion, very clean impacts on his speed. 300 notes in and still holding on to the perfect combo. The chart sort of mellows out a little bit right here. You know, you start going into the but we're about to get into some crossovers, I believe. Yeah, this is such an uncomfortable BPM for those corner no crossovers. It's like not quite fast enough to make you feel like you have to turn, but it's really fast. It is very fast. It's, it's not super comfortable to double step either. Then off to the races, up by 90. Still holding the gold combo. We have hit the 500 BPM point of Delta Max. Or more. Ben rips the PFC. The PFC, the 573 on the screen. The PFC, the 2-0. Wow, 30. 30. Perfect. Wow. Please. His best was 27? Yeah. Wow. Consistency. That's that consistency right there. And with 2 0, no more Ben takes it. Knock J Boy out of the tournament. J Boy is still 984 on the machine score, too. Like, still, still a great score solid. on a very technical, hard to time song. Absolutely. Uh, but it's just, what do you do against 30? Yeah. <laughs> Try to get 29? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, let me just casually do that on one of yeah. the hardest 17s to time in the game. 